I just wanted to tell you a little story about when I was about the age of four till about eight. Um, in that time, it was a very formative time. I was, I was raised by a dangerously successful heroin dealer um, in the outer suburbs of Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Um, he lived in a weather-beaten house in the outskirts of Brisbane. Um, it was an interesting place. It was all rough on the outside, but inside we had all this expensive furnishings and all this strange stuff that we probably shouldn't have had. One day, my eldest brother, Joel, taps me on the shoulder. He says, Trent, come and have a look at this. You've got to see this. You've got to see this. And I'd follow my brother anywhere, and I still do. And uh, he leads my other brothers and I into this bedroom. And it's the bedroom of this man that my mum had fallen in love with, this dangerous man who would go on to hold the record in Queensland for most time behind bars, a strange record, a strange record to have. Um, my brother goes in, he gets down on his hands and knees and opens this uh, built-in glass wardrobe. And he shifts some clothes aside and he pushes his hands on the rear wall of this built-in wardrobe. And there's a square little panel, right? And it pops, there's a compression mechanism. This thing pops back out into Joel's hands, revealing bizarrely to my young eyes, a secret room. Um, there was a, basically a dark chasm and Joel slips inside this room and he disappears. Um, my mind at that point exploded and I became a writer in that very moment because my imagination uh, was born and I started to realize that the world is not as it seems. And uh, I leaned my head into this secret room and Joel was standing in the middle of an earth floor uh, 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 it was a room built of bricks, and there was one thing inside this room, uh, and that was a red telephone. Cut to about 30 years later, I'm a writer, I'm writing my first book, and I decide to write it about a kid who gets the most profound messages through a red telephone um, that tell him that he must save his mum's life on Christmas Day, and to do that, he must break into the inescapable Boggo Road women's prison and uh, that sets off the adventure that is Boy Swallows Universe. It's from a very real and personal and um, emotional and just wonderful place inside me. And um, I'm really proud of it. And um, I hope you really enjoy reading Boy Swallows Universe.